Are you finding yourself having trouble believing that your manifestation is on the way? You're doing all the work, you're really working hard on keeping focus, but when you're not seeing movement, it's hard for you to believe that this is actually happening, that you can actually do this, that you are actually in control. If that's the case, then this episode of Roxy Talks is for you, stay tuned. What is up my fellow dreamers and soul searchers? Thank you for joining me here for another episode of Roxy Talks, where we discuss confidence, mindset, manifestation, and more. I am Roxy Lee. I'm a mindset coach, and I'm here to help you banish your negative thinking and limiting doubts so you can bring love, clarity, and joy into your life. If you'd like to sign up for one-on-one coaching so we can discuss your specific issues, you can sign up at roxytalks.com. Of course, that link is in the description below. We've also got exclusive merch, podcasts, and more, and you can also check me out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. Yeah, that's the one, TikTok. Before we get started, make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. And if you're feeling generous, please like and share. That helps us reach as many people as possible and everyone deserves to know that they are in complete control of their reality. So I have been teasing this video for like a week now, but <sighs> life kept happening, meaning the community, the YouTube community was speaking, screaming at me through the comments, stuff that they needed to hear and the message needed to be put out. And finally, we are giving this video the attention that it deserves. Okay, we are talking today about believing in your manifestations more, right? Being able to believe in them so that you can let it chill and not stress about it, not let your manifestation be like uh, messed up. Like if you're planting the seed, you're digging it up like those metaphors. But the idea of knowing that it's coming, being the version of you that you need to be, the version of you that already has it, meaning that version's already got it, so they don't want it anymore, they already have it, they're being the them that's already got it, meaning they're not freaked out about it, they're not wondering where it is, they're not deciding it's not coming because it's already here. And that's the separation, that's the distinction between wanting something and already having it. When I have something, the want for it goes away. I may desire to use it or mess with it, whatever it is, right? Hang out with it. But it's not the same as it's not here and I want this thing I don't have. The problem is convincing yourself that you do have it when it very clearly isn't there, okay? So I'll link yesterday's video (laughs) above about ignoring circumstances in your 3D reality. It's quite the doozy, so get strapped in for it. We want to make manifesting as simple and easy and natural as possible because it already is simple, easy, natural. It's already happening now. You're manifesting right now and 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 right now until you die. And then who knows what, right? We don't know. So all we do know is that awareness creates reality. You want to look that up, look into double slit experiment. This is like hundred year old science. This is old news. This is not new stuff. How do we use that today? How do we use that in our favor? Well, we take on the notion, the idea. We live our lives every day, practicing, knowing, being in the mindset that it is our awareness that is constantly creating our world. So if what I am aware of creates my world, then I'm going to be very much on top of what I'm aware of. And what I'm aware of is that everything's always working out for me. The universe has my back. I'm always taken care of. I'm a self-manifested billionaire. People love and respect me. They enjoy what I have to say. Business is booming. I'm helping millions of people standing on an empire. That's what I'm aware of at all times. Sleeping, awake, brushing my teeth, having a conversation, being in a session, filming a YouTube video being on Mindset Monday, walking my dogs. The awareness of who I am on this planet does not change. And nothing that happens in my 3D world can make me stop thinking that. Now, part of me getting to this point is that a year ago, I was also this version of me, right? Because even though my body wasn't physically living in that reality up here, I was sitting right here. But right now where I'm sitting, like I just said, I'm sitting in empire land. I'm sitting in already done all the shit land. Right now, I'm Oprah (laughs) or something, right? Up here, I'm dreaming as big as I can fathom because I understand that it's my awareness that creates. I've said this before on Mindset Monday. 
I dream super duper duper big because if I even get halfway there, good, I've done it. <laughs> I did really great. So a year ago, I was here in my mind, right? Today, I'm Oprah. <laughs> I'm Beyonce, okay? So this is how I operate. And nothing, anybody, anything, any me, even my own thoughts, worries, insecurities, or doubts, nothing that is said or thought or felt or worried about is going to change the fact that I'm already be Oprah <laughs> in my mind, right? Okay. Be Oprah. Oh, I like it. Be Oprah. Okay. <laughs> I'm be Oprah standing on an empire. This is happening and you guys have seen the steps. You're seeing it play out. Okay. I, you know, you've been there with me. So you know that this is completely 100% manifested. You've been here with me since the beginning. Okay. So this is part of our story. I know where I'm going. I know where I'm headed and I don't question it, but do I always feel that way? Right? Do I always think I'm a billionaire? Not always. Some days I'm wrestling with today me stuff, right? Some days I'm dealing with current reality stuff in my 3D world and in my mind. Some days I'm thinking about six months from now. Some days I'm thinking about three years from now. Some days I'm thinking about three minutes from now, right? Some days I can barely get through the minute. None of that changes where I'm going. None of that changes who I'm on my way to be. However, each one of those versions tomorrow me, six months from now me, three years from now me, 25 years from now me. They're all along the path of my life, right? It's all versions of me, mile markers along my route. It's all versions of me along that journey. So I can be billionaire me today because me at billionaire status, we don't know when, doesn't really matter. We're on our way just so can happen whenever it needs to happen. She still did something today that got her there, right? Billionaire me still had a today. So how do I always believe or know or stay in the being of billionaire me? Well, I understand that this is a continuum. I understand that life is just a collection of present moments. So if I'm on my route to being billionaire me, then at any point along that route, I can step in. I'm still billionaire version, right? Because she had a path. So how do we do this with your manifestations, right? So how do we get you there when it's something like being with somebody who said they never wanted to see you again? Being with somebody you've never met before. I'm going to talk about that on Friday. So make sure you check back if it's not here already. Making millions of dollars when you can barely pay your rent now. Those ideas that seem insurmountable, how do we make ourselves believe them? My advice is to baby step it, okay? So I do an exercise with my clients. I've talked about it in videos before. I'll briefly go over it here. It's a three-year, a one-year, a six-month goal. What this does is it makes your insurmountable goals more palatable. It gives you bite-sized chunks that you can kind of work towards, but it's still, again, it's you along the route that you're going, okay? It does not need to be completely fleshed out. So my analogy that I give my clients is, let's say I wanted to take my best friend out to dinner to a restaurant I've never been to before. Heard about it. Love it. Great reviews. I know it's the best vegan restaurant in town, but I've never been to it. Okay. So I'm going to get in my car. I'm going to put my GPS location for whatever restaurant. And then I'm going to add a second destination on my route. And I'm going to put in my best friend's address because Ellie's big and we always have traffic. So I'm going to let Google tell me the best route to get there. Okay. Then, oh shit, I don't have any gas. So I'm going to add one more route, find me a gas station along the way and boom, let's go. So from this point, as long as my tires are going in the forward direction, and I'm listening to the prompts, I'm doing what it says, I will end up at that restaurant, okay? Even if I've never been there before. I am the version of me that's eating at that restaurant tonight. Now, whether I'm at the gas station, whether I'm at my friend's house, whether I'm at the restaurant, whether I'm at the club afterwards, who knows, right? Either way, any point along that route, any of those mile markers, I'm still the version of me eating in that restaurant, okay? So when we talk about a three year, a one year, a six month trajectory, this is it. This is how you demystify and break down your goals no matter how big they seem. So here's how you do it. You start at three years, okay? March, 2023, 
ideally, where would you be? Let's say you have a specific person and you're building a business, okay? So we wanna be married to our SP and have a child and business is booming, helping millions of people, okay? That's something that I hear a lot. So SP, own a home, child, great business. Okay, fine. Seems like a lot. Not really though. Let's back it up, okay? So three years, we have that. Then in one year, what does that mean? Well, in one year, if I'm gonna be married with a child, with my SP, that means that in one year, we need to be super solid. We need to be maybe moving in together or committing ourselves to each other. Maybe we're getting married. Who knows? Doesn't really matter. The point is, I know that in one year from now, my person and I are gonna be super duper solid in our relationship, okay? And I also know that if in three years, my business is booming, I'm helping millions of people, that in one year from now, then you know what? I at least wanna be taking on clients. I wanna be fully functioning. I want my business at least building revenue one year from now, okay? Not really that hard, okay? So let's back it up then. Six months from now, where does that put us? Well, if in a year, me and my person are fully committed and everything's great, then six months from now, I always tell my clients, I just say, we've dealt with all the stuff that got us to this point. All the insecurities, the doubts, the worries, the fears, all the history, eh, old news, doesn't even resonate. I can't believe I used to feel that way anymore. Oh, it's so weird. We've dealt with all the stuff. That's kind of our six month marker, to, you know, on our way to married with a kid, okay? And then for business, if in a year from now, my business is going to be picking up speed and I've got paying clients, I'm putting my roots in the community, then six months from now, I wanna at least be taking marketing classes or getting my business license or helping pro bono clients. Something that signifies we are naturally progressing along the journey. We're making it work, we're making it happen. So this is how we start to believe in things a little bit more. Some might call it manifesting in the middle. I think that's a complete and total bullshit concept, but whatever. Anyways, you can baby step this, okay? Because just like the restaurant analogy, if I'm at the gas station, that doesn't negate the fact that I'm gonna be at that restaurant. I can be gas station me and still be restaurant me at the same time. And sometimes I can go to my end. I can visualize myself eating those delicious vegan whatever yummy nummies at that restaurant. I can go there and it's fine and I can step into that far away me and be just fine. Same thing with the three year, right? Sometimes you can feel the ring on your finger and wake up next to your SP and see yourself going down the aisle and it feels really good. Other times you can barely make it through the minute. So if that's the case, back it up and be gas station you, okay? Be six month version you. Be, I've already dealt with this. I'm not even worried about the shit you're trying to make me worry about right now, self. Okay, be that you, because that you is much more believable to be, and it's easy to step into. And of course, it's still on the route. Just because you're backing up the version of you that you are stepping into does not mean that you're canceling out your manifestation, okay? So if I'm not feeling billionaire me in the moment, I can still be business is booming me, right? I can still be uh, everything's working out, I'm already doing it because I'm here now. This isn't even me trying to pretend. Me stepping into this version now is me reaffirming my current, okay? So yeah, I'll step, I can be $100,000 a month me. Sometimes I'm just, I pay my taxes and everything is great me, right? Like either way, it's working out. Either way, I'm still the version of me that is on this path that is working towards my goal and will not stop because as long as my tires are moving in the forward direction, whether I've been there or not, as long as I follow the route, I will get there. And it doesn't matter how long, right? It doesn't matter how hungry I am because that food is gonna be just as delicious when I get there. So I want you to comment down below. I trust in my ability to achieve my goals. I trust in my ability to achieve my goals, okay? Because it's happening. You're on the train and the train has left the station. Now let's steer it in the right direction, okay? You're doing it already. The fact that you're watching this video and adapting what I'm talking about, right? You are, right? The fact that you're doing it means you're doing it. It's working out for you. The fact that you're here means you're on the right path. So don't think that you're not. Don't tell yourself that you're not because that in itself is what takes you off the path. Deciding that you're not good enough or not worthy for something is what makes you not good enough or not worthy. It's not you actually not being good enough. It's not that. It's that you think that you're not and you're making yourself not. So whether I am at the gas station 
at the restaurant, picking up my friend, or just barely leaving my driveway, I'm still the version of me that's eating in that restaurant, okay? So whether or not I'm sitting on this couch making a video, or I'm sitting on a beach somewhere drinking out of a coconut, I'm still the Oprah, right? I'm still her. I am still that version of me. And I will always continue to be that version of me until I get there. And then who knows what, because I don't, don't have any plan for beyond that. So let's just see. That'll be exciting. If you'd like help mapping out your manifestations so that they seem more palatable and bite-sized to you, you can sign up for one-on-one -on -one coaching at my website, roxytalks.com. I've also got exclusive merch and podcasts there. You can also download my 30 Days of Alignment Challenge. It is completely free, and it is what helped me start to change my thinking and ultimately led to me changing my life. And you can join my Facebook group, Black Moon Society. It's a great community for like minded people who are helping each other manifest. That, of course, is in the description below as well. Don't forget to join me on social media. I'm on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And here on the Roxy Talks channel, I go live every Monday at noon-ish PST for Q&A. And I've got brand new videos out every Tuesday through Friday. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification so you never miss an update. And if you're feeling generous, please like and share. That helps us reach as many people as possible and everyone deserves to know that they are in complete control of their reality. We're all raising our vibrations together. You have the power. I believe in you.